and is a chopper. Usually we use the transformer to step down and step up the voltage magnitude. We can vary the magnitude of the voltage by using AC chopper. It is a static switch that uses semiconductor device for the variation of AC voltage. This is also known as AC to AC chopper, which is used in induction motor drives as well as synchronous monophase motors. Uh, this is the circuit of AC chopper having the single phase AC input and main thyristors T1 and T2 and T3 and T4 are the axillary thyristors C1, C2 are the commutation choppers for this connected to the load. Now this is our AC supply with the dotted lines and I divided this AC supply into positive and negative half cycles. 0 to T3 it's positive half cycle, T3 to T6 it is negative half cycle. Now let us see the working of the AC chopper. T1 and T3 is going to work in positive half cycle and T2, T4 works in negative half cycle. In positive half cycle, the capacitor C2 is charged through P, C2, D2, R2 to the negative. In negative half cycle, the C1 is charged through M, R1, D1, C2 phase as the polarity shown in this figure. Now, mode 1. During positive half cycle, T1 is filed at T equals to T1 with a firing delay alpha. Now, I am considering this as alpha and also T1. The supply is going to flow through from the phase to T1 to the load back to neutral. The source voltage is going to appear at the load when the T1 is filed. Now at T equals to T2 in positive half cycle itself, T3 is filed. When T3 is filed, C1 is going to discharge through T3 that is C1 positive goes to T3 to T1 to C1 negative. When this discharging current due to C1 is greater than the forward current or the load current which is given by the supply. Let us consider this as forward current. T1 will turn off at T2. So now I am considering this point as T2 where the T3 is turned on. Then until this point the output voltage will be equal to the input voltage Vs. After that T3 will be turned off at T3 due to zero current as the negative half cycle starts at t equals to t3 negative half cycle starts which makes the t3 to turn off now mode 2 during negative half cycle t2 is fired at t equals to t4 the firing signal is phi plus alpha or t3 plus alpha this is t4 now the current flows from the negative to the load through T2 to phase and the input voltage is going to appear across the load. Now at T equals to T5, T4 is filed. Then C2 is going to discharge through T4, C2 plus T2, T4, C2 minus. When the current IC2 is more than the current flowing through the thyristor T2, T2 is going to turn off at T5, T2 is going to turn off. Output voltage will become 0. Now at T equals to T6, the positive half cycle starts which makes T4 to turn off. And this process is going to repeat for every cycle. You can observe the average output voltage is like this with the solid line and the input voltage is with the dotted line. So the average output voltage is different than the input. The output frequency is determined by the thyristor switching rate by varying pulse width beta. This is a pulse width that is between T1 and the T2 it is represented with beta. And the power output can be varied by varying this beta.
Now, when we have the transformers, why we need to go for AC to AC chopper? That is nothing but the advantage of AC chopper is that the fundamental input power factor is independent of the pulse width beta. And the input power factor remains unity. This is regarding AC2, AC chopper. If this video is useful, please like, share, subscribe and comment.